Last time I urged you to negotiate like a cat. And I know what you thought. Yeah, yeah, funny Jim, but as if. But there's a part of you that already negotiates that hard. Here he comes now. You can't stop him. Unfortunately, he has a key to your soul. Why aren't you wearing black? I wanted to differentiate myself from you. Are you using me? <laughs> Why? Where's your girlfriend? She on a date? Meet long term depression. When I was young, I thought he was me and that I, I was wrapped around him. I didn't know but you could think. Then a few years ago, I went for this job and if I got it, it would have changed my life. Bow bow. I told you you shouldn't have bothered. And then he turned up. But this time, something had changed. You were fatter. Later that day, thanks to two little words, he was gone. And those words were... Ball patch. Oh well. It wasn't just a revelation. It was a revolution. And you're not... Do that, I'm spilling your beer. You can't stop him turning up, but you can kick him out. Oh well. But it's more complicated than that. First, you need to reread the contract you signed with him. I'll give you days, weeks, months, years, and in some cases, everything. And in return, you'll give me Nothing. Gave you a few poems. They were crap. Oh, come on. Now it's being negative. Look at the fine print. The contract is non-binding. Suddenly I realised that he wasn't me. He wasn't even part of me. And that I was with him. An abusive relationship where I was the victim. Ah, uh, no. Not a victim. A loser. Technically, there's a difference. Once I realised that, I could see him. And when I could see him, I could fight him. So what if I didn't get the job? Huh? I'll get another. And if I don't, big deal. Finn and Dale's not going to fix it. You fix nothing. You're good for nothing. You just leech it each time. Well, what time I have left is mine. So, oh well. What? Like, did you want me to go? Oh well. Because, you know, I can. But, uh, you'll still be fat. <laughs> oh well! Morbidly obese. Isn't that what the doctor said? The doctor was wrong! He was wrong! He was wrong! And you were right. Ah, uh -huh. oh. and correct me if I'm wrong, but you'll still be living with your mum. She doesn't have a choice! The money. Uh huh. 51 years old and you're living with your mommy. Oh, hell! And this girlfriend of yours, the whore, what's her name, Ludmilla? She's with you for citizenship. <laughs> you don't know that, cool. And you thought you could win her over. You! <laughs> oh, well. So, uh, have you told him what you do? 
Don't. Please, don't. He's a courier. He delivers eBay parcels. Full time. Can we do this again? Look, the o the OL didn't work today, but with effort, it does work. Uh huh. Look, I might not have achieved as much as other motivational speakers like, say, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> now that is the understatement of the century. <laughs> but I still have the right to feel good about myself. To be happy, and if you're like me, you have that right too. And that's why I'm doing this. Doing what? Nobody's watching! Look, the reason why I didn't tell you what I do for a living is because we judge men not by who they are, but by what they do. And that's wrong. Regardless of what you do to pay the bills, you have the right to be happy. You have that right. And you, my love, have the right to contact Facebook and see if your like button is broken. Oh well.